This is the integral battle, the first one, the integral of square root of e to the x minus 1. The second one, we have the integral of 1 over square root of e to the x minus 1. As you can see, this is just the reciprocal of that. Anyways, which one would you like to do first? Okay, it doesn't matter which one you do first because the approach for both of them are exactly the same. All we need is just u sub. So let's do the first one right here first. You can let u equals to the inside e to the x minus 1, but in that case, you have to do the substitution twice. So let me tell you, it will be easier if you let u equals to the whole thing, and that's what I will do for you guys. Let u equals to the whole thing, which is the square root of e to the x minus 1. And then differentiate both sides, we get du. The derivative of the square root of something is just going to be 1 over 2 square root of whatever we have inside, right? So we have e to the x minus 1. But then don't forget to multiply by the derivative of the inside because Ching will say so. The derivative of e to the x minus 1 is just e to the x. And then this part right here, we still have the dx, right? And let's isolate the dx. We will get dx to be... This is the denominator. We have to multiply by reciprocal, right? So this now will be on the numerator. And then this was on the numerator. When we multiply by both sides by the reciprocal, e to the x will be on the denominator. And then we have the du right here. We pretty much take this flip it up right here. Okay? Okay, now let's take this integral into the u world. This is going to be the integral square root of e to the x minus 1. The whole thing is the u. So we put that down. That's the u. And then for the dx, it's just this, isn't it? And now let's look at this carefully. I am going to put on 2, of course, right here, times this part is what though? This square root of e to the x minus 1, this is once again the u, right? So I will have to put down u right here over what's e to the x. You know the x, it's not invited in the u world. So let's look at what e to the x is inside of the u world. To do that, look at this here. We know u is equal to square root of e to the x minus 1. Square both sides, we get u squared, which will give us e to the x minus 1. And then add one on both sides. We know e to the x will give us u squared plus 1. And that's what I'm going to plug in right here for e to the x. That's u squared plus 1. So the exercise right here is that you have to look at all the things that are still in terms of x, change that to be in terms of u, and then you can put that down in the u world. For the denominator, I'm going to put down u squared plus 1, and then you see everybody is happy in the u world now. Okay, what do we have? Let's put a 2 in the front of the integral, and then we have the integral u times u, that's u squared over u squared plus 1, and this is the u. And how can we integrate this part? Well, for this here, we can just add 1 and then minus 1. Why? Because now you see, we still have the 2 in the front. And then we are going to integrate. If you pair things up, u squared plus 1 over u squared plus 1. This is just 1. If you want, you can do long division as well, but I think this is much cooler. <laughs> so anyways, this right here gives us 1, and then we have to subtract 1 over u squared plus 1. Aha! And then we're so ready to integrate this, isn't it? Let's put down the 2 and open the parentheses. The integral of 1 instead of the u world is what? It's just a u. And then we subtract the integral of 1 over u squared plus 1. This is what? This is the inverse tangent of u. Okay? And of course, at the end, we distribute the 2 into the parentheses, and then in the meantime, we also change u back to that. So we have 2, u is the square root of e to the x minus 1, and then we subtract the inverse tangent, oh by the way, 2 times that, so we have the 2 right here, almost forgot, haha. <laughs> inverse tangent, this u is still that, so we have the square root of e to the x minus 1. Close parentheses, and we are so done, so put a plus c. This is it. And now let's move to this right here. Same exact approach. 
u is this, okay, I want to let u equal to a square root and everything will work out nicely. Uh, let me just redo everything right here real quick. Let me do u is equal to square root of e to the x minus 1. And then uh, allow me just put down this right here for you guys. We know dx will be 2u over, that is also <laughs> the same, u squared plus 1 du. So nice, right? That's why I paired these two up together in this integral battle for you guys. This will give us that. And then we'll take this integral into u world. This time it's going to be slightly different. It's easier. Integral, 1 on the top over this here is the u on the bottom. dx is this. So I put down this right here. 2u over u squared plus 1 du. Everything is in u world, right? And then you see u and u will cancel. This time we can put a 2 in the front and then we have the integral. We just have a 1 on the top over u squared plus 1 du. We don't have this situation here. And then this is just 2. Integral of this is just the inverse tangent of u. At the very end, this is 2. Inverse tangent, u is of course that. Square root of e to the x minus 1. And then we are done, plus c. That's it.